The Flash, issue 70, Mark Wade and Gerard Jones writing. Uh, I'd love to say it's the last time we're going to have to deal with Gerard Jones, but unfortunately there is one more issue of Green Lantern later on in this uh, second volume of Mark Wade's Flash that we have to oh, do. Really? So, so there is one more time we're going to have to deal with him, unfortunately. Uh, Greg, Greg LaRock's on the art in this one. This is the ending of the, the four-issue crossover with Flash and Green Lantern, uh, dealing with Grodd and Hector Hammond. And I'm, uh, I'm quite glad it's done. Yeah, I'm, do- I'm glad it's done too. It, honestly, this final issue ultimately just solidified that this is kind of a useless little crossover that didn't really need to exist. Um, it may be my favourite of the four only because there's some really silly stuff, especially in the first half that was making me chuckle. Never, I, I never loved it, but there was some chuckle-worthy things. I, and let's be honest, I'm talking about Flash taking off his yellow shoe to throw at Green Lantern because he can't deal with that in yellow. So he just takes off his shoe and throws it at him. That made it's me laugh. Funny. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was no, pretty funny. I, I actually tend to agree. This is the best of the four. Um, there's some stuff there that I like. Um, you know, that was kind of fun to read. Uh, Bobo's entrance, where he comes parachuting into mm-hmm. Gorilla City with a machine gun, is a lot of fun as well. And uh, some of the, the 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 art is really nice. Um, the, there's one point where there's a construct of an uh, of an elephant which i think looks fantastic this giant elephant stampeding you know you know this this horde of gorillas with hal just riding on the back of it but you know you know the, the elephant's got all the huge tusks it's uh, it's glorious i think that that uh that page is the the best of this entire four issues yeah uh no i mean obviously we left off in the cliffhanger of flash being all hector hamified <laughs> and and green lantern yeah. going all neanderthal uh, so the first chunk, well, actually, the first couple of pages is actually a recap of everything that's happened, just to catch everyone up to speed. Which, yeah, I mean, I think this is a four issue crossover that could have been just two issues. Like, I think you could have basically taken the first three issues and put them into one <laughs> issue, and it is all almost worked. Almost certainly, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, so you've got like Flash trying to like fix Green Lantern because Green Lantern, of course, is really dumb, so he's just fighting him without really thinking about it, uh, which leads to the the the, the shoe being thrown. Uh, Flash is able to get a handle on the, the, the telepathy and is able to sort of fix them both with the, the bit of meteorite that's kicking around. And they're back to normal. They go off to Gorilla City with the dog who... The dog who can talk now because there yep. was a side effect of what happened. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and they end up, yeah, big two-page spread, like you say. And uh, there's some fun stuff in here. Green Lantern uh, telling Barry... or Sorry, sorry telling Wally... Uh, a little slip there uh telling wallet to dig a hole and he's like why just do it and he's like he, he sort of chases all, a lot of the apes with a, a a giant green elephant which makes them all fall into the pit and yeah. Wally's like, oh that was pretty smart uh so some action stuff to be had um in the sense of that and you know they are here for the most part you know because lorox really solid artist uh so i think this is while it has moments that i think are fantastic like you know like those ones i've mentioned I uh, I don't think this is actually his best work. Sure. Uh, there's uh, definitely some points where it feels a little messier than usual, especially towards the end of the issue. There's a couple of proportions towards the end of the issue that do feel a bit off. I will I will agree. I get the I get the feeling this was kind of a. I I don't know who wanted this crossover. If this was just an editorial mandate or something else, but it does kind of feel like because because the plot's not very kind of gracious and how it moves through its, its story beats it, it kind of feels really clunky just to get to this point where we have like these various fights happening and like i say you could really trim all this down to about two issues instead of four uh quite easily i think uh without yeah. losing anything of value or worth and the final issue while well, the best of the four just kind of solidified it was just this intrusive little crossover it's easier for us to get through it now because we can just sort of fire through it a bit quicker than the actual book but i am glad that we're back to just wage flash run you know proper next issue mm. uh, so uh, there's a little epilogue uh, hector hammond and grod are uh, both kind of dumb right now i'm sure that's something that siler fixed in this book or fixed elsewhere later on uh yeah so. always the case <laughs> yeah or maybe maybe they'll just like this until zero hour and then zero hour you know <laughs> resets things that's, that's possible zero is not that far off yeah, it really isn't actually, because this is like 1990 or something like that, right? This is yeah. It's got to be within like a year or two. I must have I can't remember. I can't remember what years these issues came out, but yeah. Uh, so there you go. Uh, there's actually wait. Oh no, yeah, okay. 
Uh, the trade yeah, has right a, there? There's a, there's a, there's a I never read this, but there's like a little story after this in the trade that's not technically the next issue yet. And I'm not sure where it's supposed to go. <laughs> oh. Ah, I, I didn't read it either. I saw end and just stopped. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, there's like a, I don't know, it's like, it's like maybe 10 pages, something like that. Hold on. Eight pages. It's an eight page story. I have no idea where this fits. Um, I think next time we'll just read this with the next issue, I guess. And I, I guess. Was, was, was the last one? the contents page. Yeah, there's nothing uh, there for it. I checked the table of contents when I got to it, was, and there was nothing for, all that, for all this little story. It, it just gives you the page of the next actual issue. Which, I mean, I guess technically just makes it part of Flash 70 still, and we probably should have read this here. Uh, maybe. Uh, I mean, the main story is 22 pages. It's the full length, so maybe, unless 70 was oversized, which it may have been. It, it could well have been, yeah. Maybe maybe seven was oversized. Maybe we just made some dumb assumptions and didn't <laughs> read what we were supposed to. Uh, but yeah, we'll just read that with the next one then. Yeah, but, yeah, e easy enough fix. No, no, nothing too too bad about it. Uh, a little eight page story. So cool. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just. I mean, it wasn't a bad read, uh, but it definitely doesn't have the flow that Mark Wade's regular Flash issues have, and I'm definitely glad to be going back to them. Is ultimately my thing. Yeah, I'm having it. Okay, we'll pick up nicely from here and just, uh, yeah, we got a good, what, six or seven issues, I think, before we get to another, that Green Lantern issue, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah which I assume is at least a crossover with one issue of Flash, and that's why it's. Involved. It's going to be included for a reason, right? Yeah. Unless it's just like a like an issue that Flash pops up on and that Wade also co wrote because he was, Could be. you know, yeah. make, making sure Flash was being written properly, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and all that's the issue where. You know the the Hammond and the other. Uh, oh, maybe are fixed. yeah. So <laughs> yeah, maybe it's actually it's like, a follow-up. Oh, it's it's important to the ongoing Flash run. Yeah, because maybe Grodd pops up later. So the fact that he gets fixed in that that issue of Green Lantern is important. Yeah, could be yeah. That. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, it's almost pointless to speculate, really. But uh, all right, what are you giving this issue of Flash then? Flash seventy. I think it would have been a six point five, but there's the terrible Neil before Grodd line, so I'm dropping <laughs> down to a six. Because <laughs> that's overused enough for Zod, let alone doing it with others. I feel like that gives it half a point for me, rather and takes half a point away. So I'm saying Neil before Grodd. Uh, but I said I don't really want to go up any higher, so I'm just going to say 6 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs>